The world is better than you think. We're predisposed to find all of the things that are going to kill us, right? We've had millions of years of evolution to get to the point where we survived. And historically, things were pretty dangerous, right? Bigger things than you are going to eat you, or poisonous things are going to kill you, or uh, breaking a bone. That was pretty much a death sentence a um, long time ago. Now we have moved past that. But our brains are still wired to find those things that are dangerous. And because of that, we seek sometimes the negativity in the world. And the news system, the 24-hour sensationalist, really, they're no longer news, um, feeds on that, right? Think about what they are. They are a business. And like all businesses, they want to make money to profit their shareholders. To do that, they have to find things and do things that are going to peak and hold your interest. That's where this old saying came from, if it bleeds, it leads. Since we're hardwired for things that are scary or dangerous or harmful, we're naturally going to be drawn to those things more than others. So the 24-hour news cycle then makes all the headlines uh, clickbait, effectively. They're going to blow things out of proportion. They're going to make things bigger than they really are. So let's take a step back. If you detach from the media long enough and just kind of look at reality from a factual standpoint. For example, spending on necessities. Back in the 1925s, we were spending about 60% of our annual income on pure necessities. Food, water, shelter, transportation. In 2015, we're averaging about 35% of our salary. That's massive change. Global well-being. This is from a developmental standpoint. The index went from 0.5, negative 0.5 to 1, which is pretty, pretty huge. Life expectancy. In the 1700s, we were averaging about 38 Currently in, in the Americas, we're averaging closer to 90. It's like 87. And what's cool is most of the world is following these trends too. Not as good. For example, in Africa, they're averaging about 60 overall. But it's an upward trend, which is really awesome to see. If we look at extreme poverty, the percent of the world population in um, 1820 in extreme poverty was about 90%. That's crazy to think about. And now we are roughly at about uh, 48%. So we've dropped by half in just 100 years, which is pretty amazing. Years of schooling. In the 1875, the average in the United States was four years of schooling. Now we're at 14. If we look at a lot of other countries that, you know, up until the 1920s weren't having any. Uh, for example, in uh, Sri Lanka. And then now in 2015, they're at averaging four years. I mean, everywhere in the world we're seeing massive gains. The quality of healthcare is going up. The science of saving people, of feeding people, of general wealth to the average person is all going up. Yet when you listen to the media, it's all about negativity. It's all about bringing our fear to fruition. When in reality, that's not really the case. So if you just take a step back and realize life is actually getting better, we are better off today than we have ever been in human history that we know of. So when you kind of get pulled into these media articles, take it with a grain of salt. And if possible, shut them off. Because you don't need them. It's negativity in your life. It's not saying don't be aware of what's going on in the world, but don't get sucked into their story. Because they're out there to sow negativity and that really does nothing for you. Find the sources that lift you up. 
find the sources that fills your mind with that positivity, that knowledge that's actually going to help you. And figure out what your dreams are and work towards them. Because that's what's going to make us happy. Finding something to make us grow and finding something to serve. Those are the two, two main things that will help our happiness. I hope this helps you a little bit, maybe brings a little perspective to you. Otherwise, have a beautiful day.